Hey guys, welcome to episode number 542. Today is Monday, so it's update Monday, and I thought I would try to get myself out of the summer funk, the aquarium funk, and try something new. You guys know, oftentimes in the summer, uh, aquariums are neglected a little bit, and I find one way to avoid that is to try something new. So as you guys know, uh, after my bloodworm allergies, I got rid of the axolotls, which were living in this 50 gallon Rubbermaid stock tank. And this was sitting empty for a few weeks until I decided to try something new. And what I decided on are fiddler crabs. These are gold claw fiddler crabs and this 50 gallon Rubbermaid stock tank makes a perfect habitat for these guys. Now I wanted something that was fairly low maintenance, something that I could um, you know, not have to spend a whole lot of time on and uh, something which would work well in this tank and I think fiddler crabs is the perfect answer. Um, I got 12 of these gold claw fiddler crabs and I believe I have 11. One didn't make it in shipping. I believe I have 11 left. Um, 10 of them are males. You can tell the males obviously because they have the giant claw. They use that to fight each other. They use that to uh, intimidate each other. And then there is one female in here. You're not gonna be able to see her very well, but she's right there. She doesn't have a large claw. She has two small claws. But anyways, this is the setup. This is the habitat. I was able to throw this together really quickly and I think it turned out really well. So I'm not an expert on fiddler crabs, um, but this is what I did to set these guys up and I think it's gonna work out really well. So I started with uh, reef rock, just the dry rock uh, that people use in their reef aquariums. And the majority of that stuff I laid across all the way across here in the bottom of the tank. And what that did was it built sort of a base layer which allowed me to sort of pour my white clay sand uh, up on top without it sliding down into the water. So I was able to create a land portion for the, the fiddler crabs and then also a water portion. Uh, fiddler crabs usually like 50% water, 50% land in their enclosures. Uh, it allows them to get around on land. As you can see, they're perfectly happy to walk around. And as long as their gills are wet, they're perfectly fine. So they'll walk around for hours up on here before they go back in the water to explore. They're always picking at the sand. As you can see there, either in the water or on land, they're always picking around, uh, trying to smell stuff out, some stuff to eat. Uh, they are great scavengers. And uh, the reason I have the plastic plants in here, well, one, I kill plants really well, but two, uh, fiddler crabs will eat anything you put in here. Uh, including plants. So live plants are really a no-go with uh, fiddlers. But uh, yeah, so I've got the sand substrate. This is actually the old sand that I had in the 300 gallon stock tank with the turtles. I just rinsed that outside and I put it back in here. I built up this part for the land and then this part for the water. Uh, I put one large piece of driftwood in here. They're able to get underneath there if they want to hide, uh, if they want to chill out. And then I've got the live plants. Uh, they do enjoy climbing on these quite a bit, so they're able to get up uh, and get a, a gulp of air at the surface if they want to. Um, otherwise, they usually stay either on the bottom of the water. There's the female. So she's got two small claws. They either stay on the bottom of the water or they're walking around uh, on the land. I also gave them a little coconut hide here, and I have seen them in there. Actually, there might be one in there right now. You can see his claw. So they are definitely chilling out uh, on the land as well. 
And what I'm hoping to see over time is that they'll even build burrows uh, in the sand and burrow down, make a hole, uh, and then find the water portion uh, and make a home that way. But haven't really seen a whole lot of uh, digging behavior yet, but uh, we may see that in the future. Um, these guys are definitely scavengers. They will eat anything. What I do is I toss a little bit of food in the water and I also toss a little bit of food on land and I have it in a little glass dish. That way it keeps most of it contained uh, so it doesn't make as big of a mess uh, on the land. But these guys are really, really good at finding their food. They don't need a whole lot of food, but they are good at finding it. Uh, so I'm feeding them essentially three things right now. We've got the uh, regular algae discs, algae wafers, uh, any sort of like sun-dried or freeze-dried food for a little protein, and then any sort of uh, like sinking pellets work pretty well. Any like fish pellets work pretty well. And that's sort of the combination uh, that I'm feeding these guys. And they haven't seemed to complain so far. Um, one other really important thing to note is these guys are escape artists. Uh, they will climb like the silicone seams in your aquariums. However, I have found that they are not able to climb the uh, plastic wall of these Rubbermaid stock tanks. So even though they don't have a whole lot uh, of space to go to climb to get out of these things they're not able to do it so they are able to walk on the lip there but they're not able to climb themselves uh, out of this tank so I do not need a lid on this tank it might help for the humidity but uh, it is fairly humid down here so I'm not super concerned uh, about that so no escapes uh, this thing is super solid one piece construction Rubbermaid stock tank I am adding salt, just a little bit of salt to this water. Uh, most fiddler crabs, even the ones that are sold as freshwater fiddler crabs, do require some salt in their water. I believe almost all fiddler crabs come from brackish water, estuaries, those sorts of environments. So they do best with a little bit of salt in their water. Uh, if you're concerned, Definitely look up a care sheet on your specific species of fiddler crab to find out for sure. Uh, but I have read quite a bit, uh, which states that they last a lot longer uh, in their natural brackish environment. So uh, super simple, super low tech setup here. There's really no light. I'm just using the ambient light for my other tanks. There's no filter. Um, they don't really need a whole lot of filtration. They don't really need a whole lot of water movement. I'm not feeding a whole lot and they are uh, consuming basically everything that I throw in here. So uh, what I'm planning on doing is just changing a couple gallons of water in here uh, every week and they should be fine. Uh, you know, they're, they're pretty tolerant. They are a pretty hardy species. And uh, as you can see, they're having a whole lot of fun in this tank together. So hopefully um, there will be plenty more updates on these guys. They are doing very well. Uh, aside from that one that didn't make it in the shipping, all of these guys have been very active and uh, all of them have been feeding really well. So hopefully they will be here for years to come. I'm really enjoying them. Uh, it's, it's one of those things that I, I had as a kid, some fiddler crabs. I actually caught them myself as a kid. It was a lot of fun. Um, and uh, seeing them here again in the fish room is uh, also pretty fun. Uh, they've got some character to them, especially when they start fighting each other and taunting each other with their large claws. And uh, it's just a nice little thing to see as you walk down in the fish room. So anyways, guys, Think about alternatives to just traditional fish tanks and uh, try a little project in the summer so you don't get into a summer aquarium funk. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour of the Fiddler Crab habitat. If you have any tips for other Fiddler Crab owners, definitely leave them in the comments. 
and I'll see you guys later.